Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're doing my summer TBL. Just in case you aren't familiar, this is going to be the books that I would like to listen to for the season of summer on audiobook. So I have my spring TBL. I will link that up here in the cards. I don't think I've done the greatest with that one, but usually I follow my TBLs a little bit better than I do my TBRs <laughs> just because I've been listening to audiobooks like crazy. So I know this is a little bit late, but summer for us in Southern California is really more like July, August, September rather than June, July, and August. So it'll be fine. I'm a seasonal reader and I like to read things like when times of the year happen and honestly it just now got hot. So perfect. These are not going to be themed for summer. Some of them will be, but a lot of them are just things that I want to get to or get caught up on or all that kind of good stuff. So let me show you what's on my TBL. Okay, first up we have Cursed by Frank Miller. This actually came out last year or maybe this year. This is a twist on King Arthur Lady of the Lake retelling. I have recently read Once in Future and also I want to read Guinevere Deception. It seems to be like a King Arthur kind of year. The Netflix show is coming out and we're, let's face it, we're like desperate for new shows at this point. And I love medieval settings and especially retellings of any kind so really excited I know it's like a a feminist version where there's like a female main character next up we have bloom by Kenneth Opal this is actually a newer one that came out this year it's a shorter book it might be middle grade I'm not sure I read his this dark endeavor duology last Halloween because it was a Frankenstein retelling and I really loved it it was like magical Frankenstein retelling and not just in the way you would think but in different ways too and it was really really good so I wanted to check out more from him this has something to do with like monstrous plants and like seeds that sprout faster than you can blink and all that kind of stuff and it's book one in a series. Next up is Sword in the Stars by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. I talk about this one in my June wrap up. I'll link that up here in the cards. It is a again a King Arthur retelling Lady of the Lake Sword in the Stone type of a thing but it's sci-fi and it is so fun. Another ragtag team of characters, spaceships and magic and Merlin and it's really great. This is the second book in the series recently came out and I really loved the first one so I can't wait to listen to it. I also thought the audiobook narrators were fabulous. I still have The Night Country by Melissa Albert on my list. I keep putting it off just because the Hazelwood was a very mixed like feelings for me. Like I really liked parts and I really didn't like parts so I am keep kind of putting this one off but I really like the narrator for this one as well, Rebecca Solar, and it is a companion book so it's following a different character so I'm really curious and I need to get to it it's been on hold for like forever next up is the surface breaks by Louisa O'Neill I kind of want to carry on with my mermaid reads if mermaid marathon vlog is up I'll link it up here in the cards but I recently hosted a mermaid themed readathon and every single mermaid book I read I loved <laughs> so I want to kind of continue on I know this one has mixed reviews so uh, we'll just have to see but it's definitely on my list for the summer and that's it. There are some things that I kind of need to get caught up on. Um, things I've talked about in the past before as well, but those are like the main ones that are kind of like floating around in my head. So let me know what you guys plan on listening to this summer. Do you like audiobooks? Are you going to listen to some summertime themed reads or do you listen to something else specific? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!